Where are we going to run? Where does this run to? It runs run to the creek, huh? How that, it? it runs across the road, un or under the road, and then there's another branch that feeds in over there somewhere that comes in. Goes and, into the lake. And then from there it goes into the, the river or the lake Slate there, uh, upstream from the bridge. Huh? The water's up here, up here sometimes. <laughs> What would they yeah, do I would in think this situation so. if they mine this? What would they do with this river? Would they try to dam it up? Let it run? Actually, their work, their end is working per minute perimeter would have wiped out the portion of the stream upstream a ways. Nobody saw this. I didn't realize What do you that. mean wipe it out? Well, that's unclear exactly what would it, where it would have... Fill it in. Uh, presumably, they would have dug a ditch around the edge or something. They would have had to divert it, otherwise, the, otherwise it'll wind up with a lake. Called that the stream. Yeah. If, the, if this is right, this is sort of in the area where the drillings are, are starting. Yeah, because right on top of the hill, there yeah. were, that's where we saw yeah. it last week. And there's one, there's basically two, there's basically two uh, wetland areas. There's the one associated with the stream on this side. And then there's the ones on the other side that are associated with this big uh, the lake bed that's just to the north. So uh, we'll look at both of those today. There's a little lobe of the deposit that goes on this side of the esker. Uh, it would be the, uh, the western part of the deposit. And uh, as soon as you step off of this esker, we'll be standing in water. Ah, and how would, how would mining affect this? Well... Uh, you've got anywhere from 35 to 70 feet of overburden sand and gravel on top of the bedrock. So you'd have to go through that in order to even touch the minerals. And you can see here we've got some of the markers from where the drill holes were. Well, under under Naranda's proposal, this whole thing here would get wiped out. This, all that, okay. Pretty much as far as you can see, yeah. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what would have, how they would have dealt with the water issue, but there would have been an open pit, um, and the working, the working perimeter um, would have actually uh, eliminated a portion of the stream over that way. And this is the same map that the mine, mining companies that are interested in, in mining now would use the same um, Well, areas. we don't know exactly what they would do because there isn't, you know, nobody's actually got a lease. How much water are you standing in, Carl? Um, probably uh, maybe a couple of inches. Um, when it's, when it's actually after a rainy period, um, I was wet up to about here. About six so at times you probably have another, um, at least another nine inches or so of water in here. But these wetlands here are all associated with the stream that we crossed over. So actually this would be a, a good place to teach children about the importance of wetlands because you can see you can see how much water is being held in here. And why are you here today? Because I am opposing mining in this area because of the wetlands, the natural habitat, and I think it will ruin this part of our state. It seems to me that anything they do here is going to affect the wetlands which is going to go into the streams, which is going to go into the lakes, the rivers, and it will end up going downstream into Wisconsin River. It's going to go into Little Rice and um, the Willow Flowage, the Willow Lake, and I just really believe that it's going to be detrimental to the wildlife, to the habitat, and to the people in this area, or the people that like to come up here. I think it will ruin uh, tourism, which is a big money maker in this state. There's some people who think they would benefit by jobs, or? Oh, absolutely. And I don't believe that that's true. Because when I did talk to the mining people, they said, you know, they are specific jobs, they're gonna have specific employees that do their job. But 
some people around here might, you know, like a guard at the mine or, you know, not real high paying jobs, menial jobs, but eventually the mine will be gone and those people will be out of work again. Um, I don't think any of the mining employees are going to stay, they're going to go with their jobs. I, um, I don't know, I think it's important to highlight to the neighbors where we're doing this stuff, how close it is to everybody and what the risks are to the environment. That's all there is to it. I don't think I even understood the difference between sulfide mining and ore mining before I started getting involved with the project a little bit. And I think it's important for people to learn it. down there are borehole, mark borehole 17 and 19, right, Carl? Right, 19. Yes. And then they so, continued drilling out into the bog. Away. They continued drilling, so we're standing just uphill from those stakes. The stakes are those stakes down mm -hmm. there, right there, and there, and then just follow this line right straight out, almost down where that game trail is, is where they've done more borings. Mm -hmm. So they've been boring out into the, and these are all the boreholes all in this, all in this area. This every is, this is the esker, yeah. Every dot is a well? I believe so, every dot is a well. Well, some of them might be monitoring wells. Okay. But we're, we're probably about up in this area here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I actually I should turn it like this, right? Yes. Yeah, we're probably we're probably about right up in uh, probably about right up in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl, where are these lines here then? Well, those those are what I added to show you where the wetlands were along the perimeter of of what they've got marked as the as the deposit, so that we could people could actually see where the wetlands are. Mm-hmm. And he came across borehole number 74, up down about 100, 200 feet. And, and so left. boreholes have to go through all this water if they're going to drill? They have to go through all this water? I presume. I presume. I don't know. I don't know that much about the mining operations, but if they're out boring in wetlands, apparently they're expecting to find, either they're expecting to find ore or Possibly, I suppose, trying to determine the soil content beneath to see if this is a good place to, to dump the tailings.